for their peaceful methods such as Swami Vivekananda, Ram Krishna Paramhans, Aurobindo Ghosh, Rabindranath Tagore and many others started spreading the word to the people that everyone must be passionate about gaining freedom. After World War I, the British imposed stricter legislation in India to curb the people they felt were political extremists. While all hope was diminishing, 
emerged a man whom the country began to river, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Gandhi became the undisputed leader of the freedom struggle. He advocated the policy of Satyagraha and civil disobedience. Mahatma Gandhi, as he was known, inspired millions to follow in his path. His vision took the freedom struggle to the national level. On 13th April 1999, General Dyer massacred hundreds of unarmed civilians, including women and children, who were attending a meeting. This incident is known as the Jallianwala Bagh tragedy in Amritsar, which triggered off nationwide hatred for the British rule. In response, Gandhi launched the non-cooperation movement. He urged the people to refuse to pay taxes and forsake British titles and honours. This was a serious problem for the government. Gandhi embarked on a mission of about 400 kilometres from Ahmedabad to Dandi, famously known as the Dandi March. And at Dandi, the law was broken by making salt from seawater. The British responded by making widespread arrests and firing on the crowds. Gandhi too was sent to jail a number of times. Armed rebellions against the British continued to grow in several parts of India. Leaders such as Bhagat Singh and Chandrasekhar Azad led acts of violence against the British. But soon, the revolutionary activities died down and many rebel leaders symbolize the rebirth of a nation after the slumber of centuries and a long struggle for self-determination.
commenced 48 hours before, when the body of Mahatma Gandhi was placed on the roof of Burra House in full view of the thousands who had traveled all night to pay him their last tribute. Laid on a hastily converted army truck, the body was drawn into the vast crowd lining the roads to the cremation ground. Planes strewed a saffron shower of petals over the roof, while at the funeral pyre, the relatives and friends built mounds of flowers and perfumed spices high on the sandalwood lockers. Nearby with his family sat the Governor General with officials of the government. The flower-decked cortege moved slowly through the dense throng. Tens of thousands wept openly and passed by them. Traveling on the funeral coach with Gandhi's youngest son, appeared bewildered in his depths of grief. Closing behind, pressing forward, came a million mourners. Around the fire, the throng became packed as the body reached its resting place. Of all the faces in that vast multitude, the most serene was that of the Mahatma. To those around him, Gandhi had seemingly been transformed from a beloved saint into a divinity. Ramdas Gandhi, youngest son of the Mahatma, placed the torch to the pile of sandalwood, and as the first bloom of scented smoke lifted above the fire, a great concourse of mourners swept across the barriers toward him. Against this tremendous human tide, the police were almost powerless. Mourners were forced close to the fiercely burning gas. But, as in Gandhi's lifetime, Peace one where force had failed. The massive chanting of a hymn, Mahatma Gandhi has become...